Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. We get some lovely upgrades in this episode. I hope you enjoy. And thank you so much for the support recently. It's been fantastic. If you do enjoy this video, then definitely subscribe to my channel. Because I make sick videos. <laughs> yep, shut up Danny. Please enjoy. Ooh, we definitely just got some healthy missions back. Starting off with 8 lacquer. Ooh, XP. Oh, okay, rip. And some Koi Scales. Nice. Absolutely healthy. Ooh, hello. That's a sick reward. A Voyage reroll. I don't really know why I'm rerolling captains. I already have the best ones. So we just got another plate mission. But I am maxed out on plate. So, have to make some boots to disassemble, I guess. Let's get these lovely components. I mean, they're pretty useless components, to be fair. Apparently, I can't do that in combat. Nice. And give me those resilient things. Nice. Come on then, Adam. Gift me with a yak. Ah, uh, Chinchompa. Okay. That is not a yak. I have been gifted with a royal dragon. That is number 17,000. Pretty decent to be fair. Oh, it's got two traits too. Nice. TYVM. Oh, that is perfect, dude. This royal is now elder. So let's go ahead and get the XP. Oh, nice. And let's swap it out for the one that I just got. I'm constantly breeding multiple royals now, man. It's so nice. Ooh, and there's another arcane thing. What's the traits? Ooh, nice. Two traits on this one. So as soon as I get this one to Elder, I can swap it out for one of the other ones. Nice. That is awkward. I mean, it's very good. I just got a triple Akali, which is tier 3. But well, it's still my first kill. I still have 8 bait. And I have no idea what the poison is. It's fine though, because I'm going to get a more piece from it. So, thanks. First one is done. Ooh, definitely take some golden dragon fruit. Number two. Uh, I need to surge. And we got some carambola. Alright. Last one's obviously going to be a more piece. Get on man, then. That is not a mole piece. Definitely take some magic seeds though. Lovely loot on the floor. There's so many bloody bones. Ah oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. It's arcane. Uh, I'm definitely breeding these now. I mean, still some farming XP, I guess. Ooh, just got an achievement. You are halfway towards completing arcane. That means they bred a special ting. Let's go see what it is. Okay. So this should be some kind of special egg, I guess. Okay, so there's the normal ones. Uh, so we got an arcane erratum. Is that how you say it? Yep, well, we got one of them. Very nice. Ooh, how we did just finish an elder. So we can get the XP from this. 107k XP. Very nice. And then let's go ahead and put this new arcane inside. And we can grow him to elder. And then I guess we're going to start breeding that one. Maybe. Okay, it's definitely time to augment some stuff and put some sick perks on. So we have the Drago Rapier and the offhand Drago Rapier. Definitely would have preferred long swords. Because rapiers look really bad. Alright, they've both been augmented. Let's have a little look at these. Because I'm guessing I'm going to have to override them. Yep, they definitely look terrible. Just like little mini daggers. Oh my god, they're disgusting. I'm definitely not going to be showing these off. <laughs> so the first perk we're going for is for my main hand Drygore. Hopefully we can get best in slot. 
which is going to be precise six aftershock one. So I need to disassemble some armadillo stuff. We've got a couple of helmets here. All right, you only get one component for it. Ah. Oh, we also have some lovely armadillo crossbows here. I literally got these like three or four years ago. And honestly, there is not a chance that I'm going to even attempt to level these up. I'm not going to spend six hours doing that. <laughs> disassemble these. All right. What? Come on, fam, disassemble. What are you doing? There we go. There's a couple more. All right, good luck. We do only have one try because armadillo, lol. Alright, just before we do that, we got a couple of items to disassemble that I just done. We got two lances and an armadillo body. So, let's get these components. Alright, there's some Illejankion. And some more Illejankion. My god. Okay, and some armadillo. Alright, let's go. So, for precise six Aftershock one, we need... Two Illejankian and seven Armadil. And I think we have like a 59% chance to get this. So hopefully we can get it first try. Alright, two of them and seven Armadil. Let's go, dude. Good luck. Yes, dude. P6A1. That is the best in slot perk for main hand. Sick. Now the best in slot perk for me offhand is Aftershock 4 Equilibrium 2. I've got enough for three tries. And I have a 30% chance to get this. So hopefully I can hit the drop rate. Alright, good luck. Sad. That's useless. Oh my god. And again. Well then. And goodbye to all of my Illejankian components. It's not best in slot, but it's still decent. It will do for now, I guess. Ah, uh, why do I have precise 5 on my scythe? Precise 6 on its own is so easy to get. I have no idea why I accepted precise 5. Okay. Okay, so we need 9 of these. And nope. There we go. There's precise 6 for my scythe. Let's try a couple more, I guess. Eh. So, let's get rid of Precise 5. Okay, and let's bang Precise 6 on there. Another upgrade. Don't know why it wasn't already Precise 6, but alright. So, we're going to upgrade some stuff on my Torva. Uh, we need Zaros components. The best in slot is Impatient 4, Devoted 4. But we need Zami components for that. So for now we're just going to use Zaros components to get a slight upgrade. It's not going to be best in slot. So we're just going to go ahead and disassemble stuff that I don't need. Or stuff that I have duplicates of. So let's disassemble my Torva Forehelm. And my two Pernix Cowls. Okay, and let's get rid of my Pernix Boots. Alright, hopefully I can get a decent perk with these. And honestly, it's also time to get Biting 4. I've been using Biting 3 for so long. And I have so many spare Nox weapons, so I may as well. Alright, goodbye Nox bow. Let's get these 20 Nox components. Alright, and then let's augment another bow, I guess. And just put the same gizmos on. They are kind of bad perks, but I don't really use range, so it is a whatever. We definitely still have a few Nox weapons left, so I'm not worried about that. Not too many, just a few. Lol. So we are going to go for Impatient 4 Dragon Slayer, which is pretty decent. It's not as good as Impatient 4 Devoted 4, but we'll get that eventually, dude. Okay, there's Impatient 4. There we go, Impatient 4 Dragon Slayer. Which is going to be good for dragons, obviously. That's why it's called Dragon Slayer. <laughs> so the perk we're going for is Biting 4 Mobile. Apparently that's best in slot. So I'm just recording over this real quick. Definitely don't get mobile on your melee gear. It is so bad for melee. 
do not get this. You'll find out why. I made a mistake. Okay, let's try another one. See if we can get it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, never mind. That's biting three. Whoops. All right, let's try once more. Ah, fair enough. We'll just stick with biting four, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and destroy impatient three. And let's also destroy biting three. There we go. Okay, so biting four needs to go onto my top. Lovely. And then impatient four dragon slayer needs to go on my legs. Not sure why a wiki says it's in that order, but apparently that's the best. So there is one more perk that I want to get, which is invigorating. And I did not know culinary components are a thing. Didn't know they existed. Apparently you have to disassemble stuff from this shop in Lumbridge, the chest thingy. So the perk we're going for is invigorating for and mobile. We couldn't get mobile with my biting, so we'll get it with this hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. So we're going to be dissolving Enhanced Devoted 4. Let's get rid of that. And we're going to swap that with Invigorating 4 Mobile. So my melee top has Biting 4, Relentless 5, Crackling 4, which is best in slot. Then my melee legs have got Impatient 4, Dragon Slayer and Invigorating 4, Mobile. To get best in slot, all I need to do is get Impatient 4 Devoted 4 in the same perk. Very nice. My Scythe has Precise 6, Aftershock 4, Equilibrium 2. So I just need Precise 6 and Ruthless 1 on that. Main Hand Rapier has Precise 6, Aftershock 1, which is best in slot. And my Offhand Rapier has Aftershock 4, Ruthless 1. I just need to combine Aftershock 4 with Equilibrium 2 to get that best in slot. Still, some very nice upgrades, dude. Really nice perks. And it's time for some Vindicta. Let's go. Ah, why did I not get a Dren for my barge? Is that a glitch? No, you idiot, you have mobile perk. Dude, it's still happening. Why am I not getting a Dren for Barge? Huh. Ah. Aha, uh -huh. it's because I got Mobile Perk. That's not good. Well done, Danny. You are so clever. Okay, really quickly, we just need to get Invigorating. Having Mobile on my gear is literally messing up my rotation. You literally don't get a Dren for Barging. Alright, let's get this. There we go, lovely. Now let's take off Mobile Perk. Alright, let's go ahead and destroy that perk. To be honest, it would be useful for my magic gear. Because mobile is actually good on magic gear. Just not for melee. There we go. Just got invigorating four now. Oh, I could have probably perked it with like Demon Slayer or something. But, whatever. I'm so lucky I didn't get biting with mobile. That would have literally been a waste of Nox components. Kind of lucky, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. I'm getting a Dren for Barge. Ah, oh, that's nice. Back to my normal rotation. Ooh, nice. Starting off strong, dude. My god, I'm critting like a fish. The hits, man. Come on then, dude. Give me a decent flurry. That would be nice. Eh. Oh, nice. Big hits, fam. Ah, uh, what? Okay, there's 117 attack. Fair enough. Ooh, there's essence number 4000. TY. Dude, that was a really bad Zerk. But my bleeds are hitting so much, man. That was a really nice kill. Nice, dude. There's 33. Shaved off one second, I think. Decent. Starting off with a really nice Venge. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, dude. Apparently 11k is a high number. Wow, that was nice, dude. So many big bloody numbers. So many. Ooh. Some lovely dormant legs. Ooh. Okay, you can stop it now. I want my lances, fam. Ah, uh, nope. Ooh, there's another PB. Ah, uh, never mind. Literally the same as before. Nice kill. Ah. Uh, sorry, what? Okay. If you need tick planks, then just come to Vindicta. Ooh. Cheeky hits. Wow, dude, that was nice. Let's go in for one of them flurry things. And give me some damage, fam. Nice. Hopefully my bleeds can hit. Dude, look at his HP. Oh my god, that was a nice kill. Okay. There we go. That's another PB. 31 seconds. Oh my god, it makes me wish I had like bomb bombs. A masterwork. And grimoire. <laughs> I would have been critting like a fish. That was nice, dude. Um, please tell me I'm not going to die at Vindicta. Oh my god, stop hitting me, dude. Thank you. Nah, stop with the dormant fam. What are you doing? I don't like that. So, one of my subs asked me how I kill Cowfight King. So, I'm just going to quickly go over that real quick. So I'm not going to be using a familiar, and I'm not going to use an aura, but realistically you should, obviously, bring like a titan or something. Okay, so it's going to start off in magic phase. So on magic phase, all you do is put on your range gear and DPS. There's not really much to know about this phase, just do as much damage as you can, and eventually he's going to switch phases, or if you're lucky, he won't. But I'll just keep DPS until the phase change. So I'll switch to your melee gear. And wait for a 2 second stun. Just like he's about to do. There it is. So after 2 attacks. He's going to green me. So all I'm going to do is use destroy. And that's how I skip it on range phase. And then he's going to dig. So yeah just wait for your 2 second stun. Then he's going to attack twice, and then green, so you just have to stun him to skip it. And just keep DPSing until the kill is done, or until he switches phases again. And he didn't green me when he's on melee phase, so after this kill I'm just going to show you how to skip it on melee phase. Oh my god, I finally got a melee spawn. That took like 15 minutes. <laughs> So just DPS with your melee gear, and all you have to do is wait until he runs into the wall, like a clever sausage. Clever, clever sausage. <laughs> there we go. After he surges into the wall, he's going to do two attacks, and then you're going to free him, like so, and he's going to green you. And then when your stun time is on 3 seconds, just bladed dive away. And resonance. Or devotion if minions are up. And yeah, that is it. Fun, fun boss. So, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. It was a bit of a longer episode. If you did enjoy, then absolutely go ahead and slap the like button for me. Really help spread my content around the RS community. And absolutely go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace!